Hey folks, let's talk about brakes here. Uh, I think I finally figured out what was the problem with the, uh, the Chargers uh, SSBC brakes. About 13 years ago, I put these in to this car and really haven't used the car too much since then. Uh, been in different stages of being built. <clears throat> in uh, back 13 years ago, not a lot of people really there wasn't as much information on the net and stuff. So we replaced the four wheel power drums that were on this 69 charger with uh, a set of SSBC conversion brakes on the front and in the back are uh, uh, aerospace discs from uh, a pile, on a pile of Brothers Dana 60. So since we really didn't know, uh, I guess the ins and outs of the whole system, we put, uh, we removed the the uh, power brake, mat, the booster and stuff, and the original master cylinder, uh, and replaced it with uh, a master cylinder that my father picked out here, and I'm not really sure how he picked it or, you know, what the, what was available at the time. But the car never really stopped good, it never, so. But it was it was better than it was with the four wheel drums, which, at like 100 and plus 112, 118 miles an hour, the drums do not work good on the drag strip. The original 14-inch uh, wheel drum setup, whatever whatever those size drums are, they're pretty small. You only got like two good hits at the drag strip, so we decided to go with the, the uh, discs. And they work better, but just this past summer before the last one there, I, I think the brakes just sucked. Uh, we, had, we had the discs turned and freshened and all that, and the brakes just don't work well. So then I, the car sat a year. Uh, I tried them again this year and stuff, and I still, the car does not stop good. So what, uh, I might be behind the times on this on the forums. I know this, people kind of figured this out a little bit, but I didn't really see any videos on it. I didn't really look that hard either. But uh, what my problem was, was we're using a, a, power, a power master cylinder here with the... Uh, uh, inch and a 30 second bore for uh and we put it on the manual cars and this this inch and a 30 second bore does not you can measure it right here does not put out enough line pressure to work for the disc brakes it only puts out about 600 pounds of line pressure where you need about 1200 and uh for the 1200 for the disc a friend of mine told me that it could have it might have been the uh, you can't see it my garage is pretty pretty dark now it's out of my dad's big shop but right down in there you, there's a distribution block my friend thought maybe that was a proportioning valve and it was messing up the thing but for a four-wheel drum car it's it's not a proportioning valve it's just a distribution block it's all it's all equal so that's not really the problem I do have a SSBC proportioning valve back beyond that for the rear set but if you have uh, symptoms like symptoms like a, uh, a a really hard pedal but it doesn't feel like you can stop you, you know what i mean it, it's because you have too big of a bore in the master cylinder you need a uh, 15 16th bore uh, dr diff sells those uh, they creates better line pressure so uh, i thought that was interesting i uh stripped this out the other day and just decided to measure it and see what I had and I, I definitely had the wrong one so hopefully that cures the problem and the car can be a lot safer because you don't want to run with a you know any engine and not be able to stop the car it's ridiculous see you later